Hey guys! So I am doing a little quick video before I go to work today because I did just get something in the mail and I wanted to try it out for you on camera. So I decided to pick up the cushion foundation from Shiseido and I don't think that Sephora sells it. I only saw it on the Shiseido website so I did decide to pick it up because I haven't really seen anybody reviewing it and I just wanted to see what it was like. I have been very curious about cushion foundations recently and wanted to see what they're all about so therefore this is going to be a wear test of the new Shiseido Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Cushion Compact. I know people have been reviewing the liquid foundation like there's no tomorrow and saying it's such a good foundation. I have not tried it yet personally, but I did want to do something different and go for this one. So we'll see what this is all about. I got my shade in 230 Alder, 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 yeah. And I'm not sure if it's going to match me, but it was the closest thing in my opinion. I don't know. So yeah, if you want to see that, then let's get into it. So, this is what the packaging looks like. It is very cute. It looks very much like the foundation itself. Shiseido has a very sleek, nice look to it. It did just come with the compact itself, and then you can push out the little insert. So you can get refills of this, which is nice. And I'm assuming the refill is less expensive than the full-blown thing. So that's cool. It comes with a puff little tiny puff here which I'm going to use that to apply on the left side of my face and then I'm going to take my beauty blender and apply it with that on the right side of my face so we'll see which works best and yeah I'll come back to you guys at the end of the day and let you know what I think about it so let's try this guy out all right so I will show you guys what I'm going to prime my skin with first thing is gonna be the photo finish love ritual primer water from Smashbox which there's nothing left of this so I may need to grab another one. Okay. So a while ago, I did pick this up before this, they sold these out. It's another one of the Hoodwitch Crystallized Photo Finish Primer Waters. This one's in a different set though. It's in Lavender and Sweet Orange. Oh, I like that. That smells really nice. It's a very subtle scent. The rose, the jasmine and rose one's a little bit more in your face, I guess, but I like this. I think this is really nice. So I'm gonna be moving on through that. I don't even know if you can get this anymore, to be honest, unfortunately. I think maybe, maybe you can find it on the Smashbox website, but I know Sephora, oh, and well, Sephora never sold it. I know Ulta does not sell them anymore. They did have them on sale during the holiday season, and I think they're long gone by now, unfortunately. Anyway guys, so I am actually going to use my Wander Beauty Glow Ahead Illuminating Face Oil. I do like to have a little bit of like an oil on my skin. Just rub this in and it gives such like a pretty glow to the face. It's not what I'm using to prime today. I'm going to be using a different primer, but I love this. It's so nice, so glowy, but it dries down. So it's not kind of just hanging out on your skin and causing a problem with your makeup. So I like that. And then we're going to prime with my Tarte Smoothing Primer, the Timeless Smoothing Primer. And we're just going to kind of fill in the pores with this. Just to make sure that the skin looks very smooth, very soft. I actually wasn't expecting to film today. I just started filming because I literally just got that Shiseido cushion foundation in the mail which is so funny because it's Sunday and typically I never get mail on Sundays which was really cool it was meant to be and I just got it right in time to put my makeup on I have literally been using this constantly recently and I really like it it's a nice primer so we're gonna dip into this foundation so you just kind of pop it open like any other cushion foundation and let's rip this off. That looks like it'll match, hopefully. I don't know. Anyway. All right, let's dip into this side here and start applying. Oh wow, this is so much, well, so much less liquidy than I expected. This is a little weird. It smells strange.
Okay, so first thing, it's not really covering up as much as I would like. It did say medium buildable coverage, but I don't know. Am I just supposed to kind of dot it on? Sometimes like these are terrible and they don't work the way they should, but I guess we'll see once I use the beauty blender if that works better. And it smells weird. All right, we're gonna try the beauty blender on the other side and see what happens. So I think that we found our answer. Wow, what a difference. This did literally nothing. I don't like this at all. The Beauty Blender applied it so much nicer. I'm gonna throw this away. I think that that's terrible. I don't think that anyone should ever use that. So I'm going to apply this with the Beauty Blender on the left side of my face too. Cover up some more stuff we've got going on. Like I said, it's a thicker consistency than I expected, but I kind of like that. I think that um, it's definitely me at least medium coverage, like they said, which I like. I'm not always full coverage, really into that, and it's kind of like a demi-matte finish, I would say. In terms of the color, it is a little bit darker, but I don't mind that because I bronze my neck and it'll eventually kind of even out. I'm gonna apply my concealer for you and show you guys what that looks like right after and then I'll show you my full face and I won't go through the entire process though of me bronzing, blush, highlighter, all of that because I think that that's not the focus of this video so I'm gonna apply concealer really quick see how that goes. We'll see. I'm gonna use a trusty concealer of mine that I know of. This is the Cover FX Power Play Concealer so let's apply a little bit of this a little bit of this under the eyes, a little bit on the nose, forehead, and chin. I don't think I need as much coverage everywhere else as I originally thought I would, so we'll see. I think that I picked the perfect shade for me because like I said, I do like to brighten up a little bit with concealer, which makes it look a little nicer, and then I bronze down my neck so we don't have any problems with the color. All right, so maybe we want a little bit more coverage on the blemishes. It's kind of something I need right now. I'm going to take my Accomplice Concealer from Marc Jacobs, put just a little bit of that on my finger, and dab it in with my finger. You can use a brush with this as well just to do this, but I don't know, I feel like the warmth of my finger really blends it in well. Makes it look pretty nice. And I'm also going to go over it with the Beauty Blender afterwards. Because as you can see, that's a little bit light. Wow. I really like how this foundation applied, guys. This looks like skin. And that's always my goal. So I'm, I'm very, very happy about this right now. Wow, okay. All right, so guys, I'm going to do the rest of my face and show you that in just a second. So I will be right back. So I am back and this is the completed look right now. I am liking the way this has applied so far. My skin is looking very nice. I am very impressed by this right now. I went in and I used the concealers I showed you guys. I used the Laura Mercier setting powder to set my face. Uh, my butter bronzer from Physicians Formula, my M Cosmetics blush, which I've been loving recently. This is like my new favorite. I just put a little bit of this shade from this palette from Tarte in the crease, which I'll be honest, I think that this is a discontinued palette. I want well, to discontinue. I think it was only out for the holiday season, so 
unfortunately I don't think you can get this anymore but I did put this little shade in the crease which you can probably do with any bronze shade this is just your typical kind of gold highlight that I used on my skin as well which looks very pretty my gimme brow tinted brow gel that's what I use here just that nothing else sometimes I just like using gel on my eyebrows and then for my lips I use this Kylie lip liner in the shade bare so it was a little bit of like a pinky nude brown kind of shade and then i went over it with this hourglass lip gloss in the shade child it's more of like a peachy tone but i think that the two tones together worked very well and i really like the way that this looks all right so i'm gonna wear this for the rest of the day um it is 111 right now and i am going to wear this for the rest of the day i will show you guys in about seven or eight hours or so what this looks like to see if it did fade or there were any issues but so far so good i'm really liking this so i'll see you guys later hey guys i'm back so it is hours and hours later and i also just wanted to get a quick little idea from you guys what do you think about no lights in the background just my ring light on my face does it look better I don't know. I kind of like it. I think that it actually focuses more on my face and nothing else around me. So we'll see if this works. I don't know. We'll see. Anyway, guys. So like I said, hours later, it is 7.45 right now. So <clears throat> well, 7.46 to be exact. And I know I said I was going to do it about seven or eight hours later, but I think it was seven hours later, actually. And this is what my skin looks like. I went to work. I have to say, I was touching my nose all day. My nose was running for some strange reason. That's a little bit getting sick. But my nose was running a lot. And I was touching that all day long. But it still looks pretty decent. If I had to say... Oh, yeah. I mean, it definitely came off a little bit just around my nostrils or so. But it doesn't look bad on camera or anything like that. And even when I look at myself in the mirror, you don't notice it very much. It stayed very nicely. The makeup stayed nicely and my bronzer stayed on pretty nicely. Maybe the blush wore off but the bronzer stayed on which I think is really good and it kind of shows that the foundation really helped to keep that on or maybe it was just the bronzer. I don't know. But anyway, I really like this foundation. There's only one downside about it that I didn't care for and that is that it feels a little bit drying on the skin. So I would not suggest this foundation for you if you have dry skin. I have combination skin. I think this is good for someone with combination skin or oily skin because it does kind of, it doesn't feel matte, but it definitely dries down a lot. So it could be pretty matte. I don't know. But I do love the way it looks. I feel like you can get away with it with combination skin. All you would have to do is maybe just like use like a dewy mist or something during the day. Keep a little travel size in your purse. And then just kind of spritz it on. See what happens. Let's kind of do a little re-spritz here. I definitely spritzed a lot of that on. <laughs> So you can definitely see my skin's a little more dewy now and a little more hydrated looking. But honestly, I don't mind doing something like that during the day occasionally because I'll just go to the bathroom at work or something, take a little bottle with me, spritz my face a little bit, and then I look hydrated again, which is nice. But if you do like that matte feel and that matte look, you probably would really enjoy this foundation. Overall, I like it. I think that this is very good. I'm definitely gonna wear this more often. I was really surprised by this. I did not really expect it to be this good. But I have to say, I am thoroughly impressed. My skin looks very nice right now. Everything is pretty much covered. Acne is kind of, kind of showing, but it's not too bad. I mean, there are not very many products that will cover it up entirely, the entire day. It's just something I've kind of learned to live with and hopefully we'll be able to get rid of with my skincare and better eating habits one day. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And um, if you did enjoy it, definitely hit the thumbs up button if you did like it. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And I will see you guys in my next video.